fun, you know. I, they pay me to do that. <laughs> Yes. I was uh, at one point uh, trying to make a further shambles of my life and I <laughs> succeeded pretty well by the time I was about 20 and I, was, uh, I attempted uh, some university training at, at Missouri and realized it was too hard for me and I quit and I Plus, I had to be an ROTC when I was already in the Navy. <laughs> I, I thought there was a dissonance there, and I talked to somebody about that. I said, no, you're in both now, and you, you, you figure it out. So I left, you know, I didn't know this. So, which meant, at the end of uh, this trip, which was to hitchhike from the middle of the Columbia, Missouri, out to the East Coast, and then up to New London, and into the Navy, because I'd lost my deferment, which is really the only reason I went to college. <laughs> was to avoid the consequences of a decision I made when I was still in high school, which was to join the submarine service so I could be underwater. <laughs> I always take the large way. <laughs> I have a big head, you know, it's like seven and seven eighths hats or something, but a tiny brain. <laughs> if I roll over too fast at night, I can hear it. <laughs> Distinguishing itself more and more, you know. <laughs> Three thirty, four in the morning. I think there was more high end of that last collision. It's getting duller. Right? Which is about the time I get out and I start playing. You never play better than when you're done. And it's you know, you're woke up at three, four in the morning. And you're you know, you're played in, you pick up the guitar. It all you always go here, it, it never fails. No matter how little brain you've got. And um, then you get a call from the front desk telling you to stop that. <laughs> so sometimes I don't get paid for doing it. <laughs> some really interesting people when you're hitchhiking and that's the worst part of it. <laughs> They're very interesting. And, <clears throat> and what, you know, and your only choice is to pretend that you're interested in the interestingness of this crazed maniac that has accepted you as his passenger. <laughs> and their favorite sport is to let you off where you're never gonna get uh, all right. <laughs> See this, you know, that, I remember one in East St. Louis, in the middle, it was dark, you never get a ride at night, and some old guy picked me up in a car that was held together, it was delusion. <laughs> and I got in, and it would move faster than I was, but not by much. You know. <laughs> and he didn't say a word, he drove me out. I mean, I'm going this way, he's going that way. You can't really say anything, you know. Well, I was kind of going east. Be the height of ingratitude. Uh, and he got me to, I don't know, it was, it was, it was like an abandoned uh, cracking plant, you know, where they turn petroleum into the food you eat. <laughs> I said, well, where are we? He didn't say anything. So I got out where, you know, somewhere near the last body dump in this <laughs> And he drove off. There was 
what's standard practice with the, with the, the most interesting one. But in Ashland, it's either Kentucky or Tennessee or West Virginia. There are two of them. direction he wrote he said what are you doing I don't know <laughs> he said are you, are you trying to get a ride I said yeah I am he said uh, you're never going to get a ride here <laughs> thanks for telling me you know, I went to all that trouble and he said I'll give you a ride I can't I, I, I can take you to where you will get a ride so I thought oh, that makes sense and I and I, I didn't ask him, where's that? <laughs> I got in the car, and as I approached the car, there were more people in there. These three little girls squirted out the back seat, in the front seat up here, between their mom and their dad. I didn't see mom, the kids, just this guy. And I get in the car, and they're looking at me from the front seat. It's a bench seat, by the way. This is a long time ago. <laughs> looking at what dad found. <laughs> and I was very happy to be found. And we drove for quite a while, like maybe five, ten minutes, which is a long time when they're taking you where you're going to get a ride. And we, we, I see a truck stop up here. And that, you're not going to get a ride there, but it's better than dying in the meridian than <laughs> hiding behind a plaid. And as I got out of the car at the truck stop, he said, we'll wait here until you get a lift. Now, this is him and his whole family. Half an hour later, I got a lift, and he left with his family. He was stayed there the whole time. So this is four cents. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Thank mm -hmm. you.